Hi guys, welcome back to Learning English and Literature. In this video, I will explain the roles of pluralizing compound and hyphenated words. After explaining the roles, we are going to find out if these plurals are correct. Heads of states, brothers-in-laws, directors generals, majors general, editor-in-chiefs, commanders-in-chief, attorney generals, mothers-in-law but before we begin explaining the roles please hit the subscribe button and let's reach a wider audience rule one if the compound words are both nouns just pluralize the last word for example girlfriends you do not even need to put a hyphen there what you need to do is just to add an s to the last word, okay? Girl and friends, okay? Girlfriends, just add an S here. Chairman, let's just put the plural on the last word, okay? Child soldiers, okay? Not children soldiers, okay? Child soldiers. What you do is just to put, what you do, okay? All you do is just to add an S to the last word, okay? Both of them are nouns, so what you do is just to pluralize the last word, child, soldiers. Seamen, okay? That's for rule one. The exception, though, is if the first of the two noun is either man or woman, both words must be pluralized. For example, if you have for the singular woman leader, the plural should be women leaders. So if the first noun contains man or woman, you must pluralize both words in the compound noun. Okay. So women leaders, not woman leaders. Men servants, women doctors, men drivers women divers okay so please take note of this exception root two in forming the plurals of compound terms if they contain a noun and the preposition just pluralize the noun for example passerby passer is a noun by is a preposition so what you need to do here is just to add an s to the noun passers by bystanders onlookers and for runners. For root two, if the compound word contains a noun and a preposition, just pluralize the noun only, okay? Rule three, in forming the plurals of compound terms, if they contain a noun and a prepositional phrase, pluralize the noun only. For example, editor-in-chief. Now, in-chief here is a prepositional phrase. A prepositional phrase begins with a preposition and ends with a noun, okay? So, in-chief is a preposition, so you do not need to do anything here. Just go to the noun and add an S. So, the correct form is editors-in-chief. Commanders-in-chief, mothers-in-law, and finally, heads of states. Please, not heads of states. Like I said, if the compound terms contain a noun, which is the heads, and a prepositional phrase, which is of states, pluralize only the noun, which is the head. So the correct form is heads of states. For rule four, when the compound word contains a verb and a preposition, pluralize the preposition. For example, go betweens, go is a verb, between is a preposition. Check ins, check is a verb, in is a preposition. Higher up, take out, this is the American form of take away. Okay, so what you do here is just to pluralize the, um, the, the prepositions. If the compound word contains a verb and a preposition, just pluralize the preposition only. Row five, when the compound word contains a noun and an adjective, pluralize the noun only. For example, director general. General here is an adjective, so disregard it. So the correct form should be directors general. 
Auditor general. General is an adjective. Auditor is the noun. So auditors general. Managing director. Managing here is the adjective. Director is the noun. So managing directors. For ranks in the military, pluralize the last word. For example, major generals. You cannot say majors general. Okay, so the correct form is major generals. Brigadier generals, lieutenant colonel. Now let's try some. For attorney general, remember the rule here. If a compound word contains a noun and an, and an adjective, just pluralize the noun. The noun here is attorney. The general is an adjective, so attorney's general. This is the correct form. If the compound word contains a noun and a prepositional phrase, just pluralize the noun. So the correct form here is brothers-in-law. Student teacher, here, both of them are nouns, okay? So what you do is just to pluralize the last word. So student teachers, husband snatches, the same thing. Head of government, if you have a prepositional phrase, okay? If you have a prepositional phrase, which begins with the preposition of and ends with a noun government, what you do is just to pluralize the noun, okay? Now, secretary general. Here, if the compound word contains an adjective and a noun, what you do is just to pluralize the noun. So this will now change from secretary general to secretaries general. So these are the correct forms. So please take notes of the rules, okay, and apply them. Keep practicing until you master them. Thank you very much.